I'm Dr. Jo Atkinson. I'm the Building Projects Manager at the Active Building Centre. We can't keep doing what we've been doing. Business as usual is not an option. We have to change the way we build buildings and homes especially. We are just adding to the problem unless we change. We have to decarbonise, we have to make them net zero, we have to make them better than net zero to compensate for all the homes and buildings that cannot be net zero. Otherwise we are not going to tackle the challenge of climate change. No, it's not as simple as just um, taking out a gas boiler and putting in heat pumps. We have to insulate buildings first. If we don't, then we are just going to be increasing energy bills and putting more people in fuel poverty. We will not be solving the problem. So, simple things. Diet, obviously, as has already been discussed, reducing the amount of meat that we eat. Um, transport, walk and cycle if you can, don't get in your car, if you do have to drive, if you can drive an electric vehicle, obviously that's much better, I know that's not an option for everyone just yet, but if you can, um, use an electric vehicle, um, and then in your home, Rather than just replace things as they break, think about or engage with some expert advice um, think, to help you think about is that if you upgrade that, um, or if you put in a new kitchen in, for example, could you um, insulate the walls first as, you're do, you know, as part of that process rather than just replacing your kitchen? When you're buying new light bulbs, you make sure you buy LED light bulbs. Um, when you're switching energy supply, trying to get a better rate, maybe look at a 100% renewable option. Um, if you've got a south-facing roof, if you've got a little bit of money sat around, maybe put some solar on the roof. If you've got a little bit more sat around, maybe put a battery in and then look at a time of use tariff so that you can um, make the best of those technologies.